This is Watcher 3 to Cypher 9. Sorry to cut your leave short, sir, but we need you. Terrorist mop-up is officially over, and the search for Lord Jadis is on hold. The war just took top priority. Give me the situation. You're being recalled to headquarters. Keeper will brief you on your next mission. Watcher 3 out. Cypher 9, come in. Lord Jadis told us you were returning to duty. Something looks different. Don't tell me you made it more stark. Something of the sort. Since Eradication Day, Lord Jadis has been solidifying his control. In honor of our successes, he's made changes to our department. My predecessor was elevated to Minister of Intelligence. That makes me the new Keeper of Operations Division. That's quite a promotion. Shall we celebrate? Lord Jadis can be generous, but he has an aggressive timetable. I'm mounting an operation against the Republic Strategic Information Service. Our concern is this man, Arden Koth. SIS for nearly a decade, responsible for 16 covert projects in the Mid-Rim. The best spy master our enemies have. I've run into the Republic a lot lately, but no espionage presence. The SIS is our smaller, more flexible counterpart, supported by military and Jedi reserves. Arden Koth's division recently received a classified sanction from the Republic Senate. Complete autonomy. No restrictions on their activities. The Republic believes Arden Koth can win the war. We need to know what he has planned. Do we have a full workup on him? There's very little. Born on Dantooine. Disappeared a while. Then joined the SAS after the Treaty of Coruscant. Motivations unknown. Revenge seems probable. Since receiving his own division, he's instigated three slave rebellions, one corporate takeover, and, we believe, inspired two of our own generals to defect. Now imagine him with unlimited resources and no ethical restraints. Does he have vices? A mistress? Anything? Not that we can find. Maybe you can do more. Imperial Intelligence has leaked documents to the SIS suggesting that one of our trustworthy agents is traumatized. At the same time, we sent anonymous messages to Arden Koth's team from an inside source. They now believe a cipher is ready to turn. I want you to make contact with the SIS and offer to be their spy inside the Empire. I've been a pirate and a terrorist. I can be a traitor too. Your objective is to earn their confidence, uncover their plan, and eliminate Arden Koth himself. This is a long-term, deep cover mission. I should warn you. This sort of work can be psychologically taxing. You will be isolated. Even most intelligence personnel won't know the truth. Cleo and Vector, are you asking me to abandon my squad? Your people don't have intelligence backgrounds, so the SIS won't suspect them, and you'll need their support. We've set up a meet with one of Arden Cove's men. You leave Fanar Shadar within the hour. Bury whatever loyalties you have. You'll know when the time comes to strike. Nar Shada again. Casinos, death sticks, and head games with Watcher X. Think selling out to the Republic will be more fun? We get to lie to a whole new group of people. You know it. Don't forget to squeeze them for all they're worth. You are the conscience of our team as always, Cleo. For what it's worth, Cypher. We have our own doubts about this mission. But whatever happens, our loyalty is to you. I'm glad to know who I can trust. Meeting with the SIS guy goes down on the promenade. You bring the charm, I'll bring the detonite.